Falls are one of the most common causes of injuries at work, and the consequences of falls are often fractures and severe complications. The most common falls are at the same level due to tripping, slipping, or twisting the joint. Falls at the same level often occur as a result of damaged flooring or stairs, different floor levels, i.e. differences in floor height when moving from one space to another, congested passages and transport routes, spilled liquids or wet floors, and extension cables stretched across passageways. Keep all aisles passable and always make sure the workspace is well lit. Never leave goods, pallet boxes, packaging, production waste, or any other items on the aisles. Transport routes should always be free and clear. If there are obstacles, they must be visibly marked. The most dangerous are falls in depth, and especially falls from heights, because they often result in severe and even fatal injuries. When performing work at height, first of all, one should try to take it from the appropriate scaffolding, work platforms, and lifting baskets intended for that purpose. It is not allowed to lift people with a forklift without a suitable lifting basket. If you use ladders, always place them on a flat and stable surface and secure them from slipping or ask someone to support them. When doing work on a ladder, you should always follow the three-point support rule. So it is important that you are in contact with the ladder at three points of contact at all times. For example, with two legs and one arm. Single-legged ladders are placed at an angle of 75 degrees, and this is also called the four to one rule. So when the ladder is placed against the wall, they should be moved away from it by a quarter of the height. The easiest way to determine this is to count the rungs on the ladder and divide it by four. So for example, if the ladder has 12 rungs, the ones at the bottom should be away from the wall by a length corresponding to a distance of three rungs. When safe work services and guardrails cannot completely reduce the risk of falls from a height, it is essential that workers use a safety belt with a rope. If you have additional questions regarding occupational safety and health, read the instructions provided, and if necessary, contact your supervisor or employer in person.